What's going on, everybody? This is Silent Hopper TV coming to you from Capos on our way to Manuel Antonio. We're actually driving through the town here. Capos is about a 15 to 20 minute drive away from Manuel Antonio National Park. And as we're arriving in Manuel Antonio Park here, you can see this white faced spider monkey. They're just kind of hanging out in the bushes here. I don't know if the locals feed them or what. But in Manuel Antonio, you're going to see a lot of different wildlife. Everything from deer to several types of monkeys. Also, some marine mammals. Lots of sloth. So, birds. Many different animals live in Manuel Antonio. And that's why people come from far and wide to visit this place. Oh yeah, and you can't forget about the reptiles like this iguana here. We hung out with these guys for about 15 minutes because there were so many of them. So this here is Manuel Antonio Beach. Down in Manuel Antonio, there's several beaches around here because of the layout of the land, but really a cool place. And in the park, you're gonna see so many different wildlife, monkeys, sloth, you're also gonna see birds, deer. You never know what you're gonna come across out here, actually, to be honest with you. All you have to do is look up in the trees and you'll see a sloth. Check out this guy just kind of cruising. You know, the thing that stands out to me the most about this area of Capos and Manuel Antonio is the abundance of wildlife. I mean, it is everywhere. And when you get woke up in the morning by loud noises, it's usually the howler monkeys. All right, what do you guys say we head south now and check out Dominical and Uvita? So the first night we stayed in Uvita at a glamping location. Uh, this here is where Marino Bellina is. That is the whale's tail. But we also went to some waterfalls and checked out some of the wildlife down here. Swimming in that lagoon there was very refreshing. Many of these places exist across Costa Rica, but in particular on this side, because there is mountains on the Pacific side that allow these rivers to have these cascading uh, waterfalls and lagoons. And one thing that's really popular with tourists and locals out here is surfing. So there's an abundance of big waves, well, friendly big waves. So you'll see people out here doing surfing out of vans, surfing out of those Volkswagen Beetles. Uh, that's kind of the vibe down here. And here's an aerial shot of Marino Bolina, the whale's tail. You can see it kind of looks like a whale's tail during low tide. And it just so happened low tide was during sunset, so we got the best of both worlds out here. I don't think you could come out here during high tide because it's covered up. Coming to you from Hako, a very popular tourist destination here on the Pacific Coast, Costa Rica. And Hako is one of the larger beach towns in this area of Punta Reynas, about an hour and a half north of Uvita or Dominical. Let's show you guys the uh, hotel we were staying at down in Uvita for glamping at Siren. And you can see this is a really cool eco glamping site. Okay, so I'll just give you guys a quick little bit of insight. I got to choose between these two, but I'm going to take this one, Arasif. 
just kind of show you what it looks like up top here. So this is the road that we took to come in here, but it's not the only road. <laughs> but this is the road we had to take to get in here. You can see they've got these other bungalow cabins. They've actually got a little town. Just like the beach in Santa Teresa. It is crazy. So they were saying that this is the plant that. Uh, is used for Ben Gay. The icy hot Ben Gay. That's uh, what the plant's used for. There's several waterfalls here. You can see even behind that one, there's another one. In case you guys are wondering the name of this waterfall, it's actually called Catarata Uvita. As you can see, we're at Dominical. Lots of surfers. And obviously you can drive way down there where everyone else is. It just keeps on going. I'm just coming over here to see what kind of drinks they got. I mean, sunsets all across Costa Rica on the Pacific side are fantastic, but wow, the sky really lights up down here in Uvita. And after sunset, of course, we went down to the town right there on the water, really small town to get some food, but uh, this is kind of what it looks like right here. Very relaxed backpacker environment. By the way, guys, it goes without saying, but please be careful if you choose to do any activities around a waterfall, like slide down a natural cascading waterfall. People who do that, they are very uh, experienced. I wouldn't recommend everyone just jump on there and do something like that. So do exercise caution.
And now we're gonna show you guys around Dominical a little bit closer. This is actually where I saw the most parrots or Guacamaya, Cabo Rojo, whatever you call them. Uh, they're the big parrots that you see flying around, usually in uh, uniform, so they're in a flock. And if you did want to pick up surfing, you can see they got a surf school right there. Or if you're here to look for real estate, look at that, they got a real estate office. All right, so what do you guys say we stop the car and do some walking around here at the beach area where Dominical is? And I'm actually in the market for a sarong, which is what I'm gonna use for a beach towel. So let's see if they got one down here. Green one, a red one, and I've got, those are 9,000 colones. This one's a little bit more, it's got holes in it. That's the one I really like, but it's got holes in it. I think that one's the one. And as we were driving out, I did see the parrots flying through the sky and I heard them. And we got a little bit closer to get a closer look. show you this place guys so you have this point it's right over here right then you have ocean over here with the sunset you have beach right on this point you have ocean over here too so this is a really special place called marina Molina. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this episode from Uvita, Dominical, Jaco, and basically the southern part of Punta Arenas with Manuel Antonio and Capos. Hope you get a good idea of what to expect when you come down here. See you on the next one.